Hello everyone, it's Angel from the Abernathy's Go Green and today we are going to be doing our face cream face off. This is part 6 of the series that I'm doing here on my channel and a lot of you have been following along and are really giving me positive feedback so I appreciate all of you. But this is a series that I started here on my channel going through all of our skincare steps starting from oil cleansers to remove makeup and then we're gonna end with face oils and face balm. So this is part 6 like I said and we're gonna be talking about cream moisturizers. I do have all of the previous videos that I've done linked down below so you can check it out but let's go ahead and get started. I always like to start this by saying that my skin type is oily combination. It's a little bit more oily in the summer just because I've always had oily skin and then it's I think aggravated by how hot and humid it is where I live and then in the winter it tends to be a little bit more dry because it's cold and dry where I live. So especially on this step of my skincare routine, this is where I really like to change up my routine where I will reach for a lighter moisturizer in the summer and then a thicker, more richer cream in the winter. So I have seven products here in front of me. Uh, most of them are empties just because these are products I've, that I've used in the past but a few of them I left a little bit in the bottom of the jar so I can show you the consistency. The first moisturizer that I have here is the Andalou Naturals 1000 Roses Beautiful Day Cream. This is my third jar of this and this is one of the first moisturizers that I tried in Green Beauty but I first tried this in one of their starter packs that came with a cleanser, the toner, the day cream and the night cream and I think there's also a scrub in there and I really fell in love with the beautiful day cream and I've since repurchased three of the full-size jar. So the full-size jar of this comes in a 1.7 ounce plastic, very thick plastic jar and it retails for $24.99 but I picked mine up from Pharmaca or Vitacost whichever one of the sites that's having a better sale. Um, usually Pharmaca though. I always tell you guys that every time you shop at Pharmaca they always have some kind of an awesome coupon code. That's why I like to get a lot of my beauty products from there. They say that this is for delicate and dry skin. Their 1000 Roses line is specifically made for individuals with sensitive skin. They say that it's the start to a beautiful day. This satin soft cream with alpine rose stem cells delivers essential hydration and dermal vitality to soothe and nourish sensitive skin as pomegranate uplifts and tones and hyaluronic acid and aloe vera help revive skin's hydrolipid barrier for a flawless looking complexion. As far as the ingredients go, the first ingredient is aloe leaf juice followed by water and then it has ve vegetable glycerin, it has hyaluronic acid or sodium hyaluronate, it has some fatty alcohols, rosehip seed oil, olive squalane, pomegranate seed oil, and then they have the plant stem cells and the bio active 8 berry complex which is in all of the Andalou Naturals skincare products and that is their antioxidant complex that they like to put in their products. It has rose flower distillate, cranberry juice, white tea, so again more antioxidants. It has rooibos extract, vitamin E, rose isolates, vanilla isolates, rose geranium flower oil, and orange peel oil, and they use ethyl gl glycerin as their preservative. So it has really clean ingredients and Andalou Naturals is one of my favorite affordable brands. So as far as my experience with this, I love the little trial size. I went through two jars in two consecutive summers and then the third summer I bought this because I was expecting my skin to need a lightweight moisturizer but last summer this was not hydrating enough for me. I think my skin just changed and the needs of my skin changed so I did just end up using this as a body cream. I left a little bit in the bottom of the jar here so I can show you the consistency of it. It's very thick and fluffy but also very lightweight. It's like a whipped aloe vera gel if you will. It's like a creamy gel like consistency and it is very lightweight um, and like I said that first two summers my skin really did well with it but last summer it was not hydrating enough um, because you know your skin's need just change. I don't know maybe I'm getting a little bit older and I need more of a richer cream but it smells absolutely divine. It has that very clean rose scent because it is from their 1000 Roses line and I absolutely love it. But sadly, last summer it was not hydrating for my 
particular skin but the two summers before that it was just perfection it didn't clog my pores it's very lightweight and it just sinks right into the skin and it was perfect so if you have oily acne prone sensitive skin I totally recommend it so the second product that I have here is by 100% pure this is their multivitamin and antioxidants ultra rich PM treatment this is my second jar of this and I picked this up through HSN or Evine one of those television shopping networks um, and they were having a buy one get one free deal so that's how I ended up with two but this retails for $57 on the 100% pure website they say that this ultra rich PM cream is a multivitamin powerhouse made with correcting vitamin C and reparative vitamin A and works to combat daily damage and signs of aging and then as far as the ingredients go the first ingredient is water followed by avocado oil glycerin shea butter it does have shea butter so if you try to watch out for that this contains shea butter, rose fruit oil, it has cocoa butter also, uh, vitamin A in the form of retinol palmitate, it has niacinamide, panthenol, sodium ascorbyl phosphate which is a form of vitamin C, it has corn oil, it's kind of weird to have in there, um, it has rice bran extract, vitamin E, vitamin K2, vitamin D3, <laughs> ubiquinone which is CoQ10, uh, resveratrol is an antioxidant, it has aloe leaf juice powder, and then they use the honeysuckle flower extract as their preservative. It has kelp extract, lichen extract, calendula, so it can be very soothing. It has green tea leaf extract, again for the antioxidant properties. It has sea buckthorn, borage seed oil, orange oil, evening primrose, and then some emulsifiers and thickeners. I was just going through that very quickly. But this is very rich and custard-like. It is perfect as a PM treatment. I have a little bit left in there just so I can show you guys the texture but this is very like thick and custard like. It's very creamy and just perfect nighttime treatment. Despite it being thick and having the shea butter and cocoa butter in there I didn't find that it clogged my pores. It is just perfection in the winter. Um, I use this both AM and PM just because I need a rich thick cream moisturizer during the winter because when you go outside it's super cold and then when you're inside you have the indoor heating that can just wreak havoc on your already dry skin so this is just perfect it doesn't leave any kind of a greasy feel it does not feel heavy despite it being very thick and creamy I think my skin just drinks it up it just sinks right into my skin and it just leaves my skin very plump and hydrated and just protected. And then it has the nice lemon scent um, that I really like. It's not overpowering or anything. So the third product that I have here is the Pie Chamomile and Rose Hip Calming Day, Day Cream. This is a sample that I got in a kit that came with their cream cleanser and the Bio Regenerate Rose Hip Oil. And I think there's a fourth product. I think just the maybe the muslin cloth that comes with their cream cleanser. But the full size of this is 1.7 ounce and it retails for $60. And it looks like it's in a glass pump packaging. They say that it is a soothing, lightweight facial day cream. They say that it's suitable for all skin types including hypersensitive skin. It is formulated to soothe and maintain extremely sensitive skin using clean and natural ingredients. This non-toxic cream has been formulated to help soothe skin antioxidants and omega-3 6 7 and 9 work to leave skin hydrated and moisturized this day cream is free from irritants including alcohol sodium hydroxy something and phenoxyethanol and then as far as the ingredients on this the first ingredient is water followed by apricot kernel oil and then jojoba thistle oil glycerin rosehip co2 extract it does contain shea butter, manuka oil, vitamin E, chamomile CO2 extract, lavender oil, sodium anisate as their preservative. It has rose geranium oil, lactic acid, and then some emulsifiers. I don't have any more left to swatch for you guys because this is completely empty. But I like what this did for my skin. It is very lightweight like they say and it is very calming so I have a lot of redness on my skin especially whenever I'm suffering from my hormonal breakouts and it is very calming but what I did not like about this is the scent it smelled very strongly of chamomile it's never crossed my mind that a very strong chamomile scent would be off-putting to me but it definitely was so that's why I didn't buy a full size of this despite it 
being very good for my skin. But I do have a moisturizer that did exactly as this did for my skin as far as calming and hydrating, but it didn't have the very off-putting strong chamomile scent that this has. And that is the C La Vie, it's just called The Cream, 0.19. <laughs> and this I actually got through the Perlesque subscription box. And this is a full-size bottle, um, it's glass and it has the a pump. But I think it's one of those that has a little bag that squeezes every time you pump. So that way it's airless. But this has 50 ml of product in here and it retails for $85. And the only online store that I found that carries this is Detox Market. So that's very exciting that we have a US store that carries this because I absolutely love it. So they say that the essential 0.19 day creams unique formula will protect your skin against environmental stressors while locking in and maintaining much needed moisture. The synergy of precious oils like prickly pear, jojoba, and desert date, which are exceptionally rich in essential fatty acids and triglycerides, will moisturize and repair dry, damaged skin and boost its natural barriers against external toxins. Ingredients are bioavailable, meaning they are easily absorbed into the skin to deliver essential nutrients and hydration. Antioxidant-rich oils defend against the free radicals while supporting a radiant complexion. And then as far as their ingredients, the first ingredient is rose flower water followed by jojoba seed oil. It has water, glycerin, olive oil. It does contain fragrance. It has some plant extracts, olive leaf extract, sodium benzoate, um, sodium hydroxide, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid and sodium hyaluronate, it has potassium sorbate, and it has sunflower seed oil, and then they also have silver in here to help preserve the product. So again, really good simple ingredients, and this is one that I absolutely love. I used this through the winter, I forget which month it came through the Perlesque box, but I used this in the winter and then that's when I picked up the 1000 Roses Beautiful Day Cream for the summer, and then realized that this was not hydrating enough for my skin last summer and then I continued using this. It was nice and thick and rich and creamy enough for me to use in the winter when my skin tends to be dry but also lightweight enough whenever my skin is oily and it's humid in the summer. It is very hydrating and I feel like after I put this on a lot of my redness goes away. Um, it is very calming and it's just one of the most perfect face creams and this is again another one that I don't have a single pump left. I wish I could see the inside so I know how much stuff I have in here um, because this is completely empty and because it has a white glass opaque bottle I can't see inside and there's no way of removing the top that I know of. And then the scent of this is it smells like marshmallow fluff and it's just so divine and I love it. Um, definitely one that I would repurchase. And then the next product that I have here is by Mad Hippie. This is their just called face cream. That's what the little guy looks like. This is the full size. It's a 1.02 ounce bottle and it retails for $25.99 on the Mad Hippie website. But I like to pick mine up from Vitacost. Like right now it's $19.99 on the Vitacost website. Let's see, I've also reviewed the cream cleanser that they carry and also their hydrating nutrient mist, both of which are linked down below if you want to check it out. So they say that this is packed to the brim with peptides and antioxidants. Our face cream is formulated to moisturize, soothe, and rejuvenate the skin. The first ingredient is water followed by aloe leaf juice. They have the Matrixyl Synthesis. What do they say about that? It's their adv advanced peptide with skin rejuvenating benefits. And then their Syntax is their dual anti-aging peptides. It has safflower oil, it has glycerin, capric caprylic triglyceride, it has niacinamide, some fatty alcohols, ethyl glycerin, sodium PCA, sorbic acid, some thickeners, argan oil, potassium sorbate. It has resveratrol, which is an excellent antioxidant. It does have coconut oil, citric acid, green tea extract, CoQ10, acai extract, vitamin E, white tea extract, pomegranate seed extract, and the steam distilled lime extract. So this is a very, like they said, packed to the brim with antioxidants and peptides, and it is very hydrating and moisturizing. This is another one of those airless pump that you can't see inside of, so you never know when you're going to be running out. And I liked this. I love the ingredients. There's 
the coconut oil in here but I didn't find it clogged my pores or anything. I love that it has all the antioxidants and the peptides in here. It's extremely affordable. The consistency of this is kind of like a watered down glue. <laughs> It's not thick and fluffy, it's not custard-like, it's like if you were to have a little bit of product between your fingers and you went like this, it would look like you had glue in between your fingers, if that makes sense. I wish I had a little bit left to show you guys. This was just okay in my book. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Would I buy it again? I don't think so, because there's other moisturizers that I like better than this. Alright, moving right along to second to the last moisturizer that I have here. This is the Ursa Major Golden Hour Recovery Cream. This is a glass jar with 1.7 ounce of product and it retails for $48. They say that it is good for all skin types including dry, mature, sensitive, blemish prone, combination, and normal skin. So really for all skin types. It is an intensely hydrating yet fast absorbing face cream. It provides deep hydration and nourishment to soothe and repl replenish weary skin. Use it as a daily moisturizer, as a night cream, or anytime your skin needs a little TLC. Works great for all skin types, especially recommended for anyone recovering from prolonged exposure to the elements. It is rich in antioxidants, vitamin A, C, and E, carotenoids, phytosterols, and essential fatty acids including omega-3, 6, 7, and 9. The first ingredient is aloe vera leaf juice followed by sunflower seed oil, some fatty alcohols and emulsifiers, of course. It has the radish root ferment filtrate as a preservative. It has glycerin, meadow foam seed oil, black currant seed oil, sunflower seed oil, vitamin E, rosemary leaf extract, sea buckthorn, sandalwood, rose flower oil, neroli flower oil, palmarosa leaf oil, calendula flower extract, sodium anisate as a preservative again and then some xanthan gum and some more emulsifiers and thickeners and then the last ingredient is alcohol so i'm <laughs> done with this jar and i left a little bit in the bottom so i can swatch it for you guys but i mentioned this in my best of 2018 in skincare i went through a sample size of this two sample size of this actually and then went on to by the full size bottle. This is another one that is very rich and thick and very custard like and creamy. Very similar in texture, I would say, to the 100% pure one. They are both very rich and creamy and custard like. That's what I would um, liken their texture to, is very custard like. And this does dry to a very matte finish, but it leaves your skin just cushy and soft and bouncy, and I love it. I don't know what else to say other than it's just another one that is perfect. The scent smells like turmeric to me. I've told you guys that before. It smells like turmeric to me. It does not have turmeric in it, but just maybe the combination of all of the ingredients. I don't know, but my hand, you guys, since I've swatched all of those, these moisturizers, it is like the best looking hand you will ever see. <laughs> all right so moving on to the last product that I have here this is by skin owl this is their beauty whip the maki berry beauty whip this came in a pearlesque box as well I bought this whenever there was a credo friends and family sale last November and then this came in I think the November pearlesque box so this came at the same time and then I tried both of them to see which would be a better fit for my winter skin um, and I picked this to use in the winter and then this for right now um, although I wish this lasted me a little bit longer because although it is end of March it is still a little bit cool here and I wish I had a little bit more of this but this is what I'm using right now it comes in a 2 ounce amber glass bottle with a pump um, and it retails for $68. It says, discover the beauty benefits behind our all-in-one face mask, makeup primer, and beauty drops booster. One application reveals the look of intense moisture, even texture and tone, and a visibly brighter complexion. This gentle, creamy, skin-drenching mask is boosted with fierce hydrators like hyaluronic acid, organic olive and jojoba oils plus antioxidant rich Patagonian maki berry, organic rooibos, toning DMAE, and soothing MSM. It's intended for all skin types. It is vegan and cru cruelty-free. And I don't think I mentioned that all of these are vegan and cruelty-free. All of the 
the products that um, I've mentioned so far. Multi-use product because you can use it as a face mask, a makeup primer, and beauty drops booster. Um, whenever I first received this, I was so confused. Like, what am I supposed to be doing with this? Because it says it's a deeply soothing and smoothing mask on the label. And then I looked at the ingredients and checked out kind of like the texture. I'm like, it's kind of a moisturizer. <laughs> Because I can do all that with any of my cream moisturizer. But hang on, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's check out the ingredients really fast. Um, the first ingredient is aloe leaf juice, followed by organic olive oil, organic alcohol, organic jojoba seed oil, some emulsifying wax, hyaluronic acid, MSM, DMAE, rosehip seed oil, organic evening primrose oil, organic rooibos leaf extract, organic lavender extract. It has the maki berry concentrate powder, organic calendula flower extract, organic green tea extract, white tea leaf extract, vitamin E, sunflower oil, and xanthan gum. I love the ingredients of this. It's full of antioxidants and soothing plant extracts like the calendula. But this is how it comes out of the pump. It is very kind of watery. Um, it's definitely one of the more thinner um, moisturizer. Probably not the, the thinnest um, consistency wise in all of the moisturizers that I've talked about today it leaves a very oily feel to the skin but it sinks right into the skin because if it's very lightweight you wouldn't think that it would leave such an oily feel to the skin as you can see it's very kind of glossy but it sinks right into my skin um, so I really don't mind it the only thing that I don't like about this it is the very strong scent of alcohol it smells like I can smell the calendula in there like a light floral scent but the alcohol is kind of a little bit overpowering I think this is good uh, moisturizer for someone with oily skin uh, like I said I didn't find it hydrating enough for the winter so I just used the Ursa Major and then I'm saving this for the summer but I've used about that much of it just from trying it out the first time and then now as I run out of my um, Ursa Major moisturizer if I had to pick favorites out of the seven moisturizers that we've talked about today i would pick oh gosh um this one because i can use it both winter and summer and it is very calming for my skin and then the second um it would be a tie between the ursa major and the 100 percent pure this would be first place and then this is second place they they're tied in second place so yeah I think this is my all-time favorite just because of how calming it is for my skin and my skin really needs help um, in calming. Alright, so I think that's going to be it for today's video. Let us know in the comments down below if you want to, <laughs> if you've tried any of these um, moisturizers that I've talked about here and I will see you on my next video. Bye!